Hi, this is Phil from Southeast Irrigation Supply. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the hygroscopic discs on a Hunter wireless rain click. Uh, if your rain sensor has not been working well and it's more than a few years old, the, the most likely cause is that the discs are old weathered and the, they have lost their con expansion and contraction ability. I have these replacement discs for sale on my eBay store and there will be a link to it in the comments section and also at the end of the video. This is a very easy fix that can be done without tools and you can save hundreds of dollars from not having to call an irrigation repairman to come out and fix it. So this is what the wireless rain click looks like. Um, this is actually a wireless rain freeze click which has freeze sensor uh, ability built into it but regardless if you have the wireless rain click or wireless rain freeze click this is procedure is exactly the same. So um, what you want to do is the tall stack of discs is within this cap assembly right here. And this cap assembly, actually what well, you need to make note of this is how many vents are open uh, when you're about to take it off because you when you put it back you want to put it back on that same setting. So right now there's three vents open and to get this cap assembly off um, what you need to do is just pry both sides of this small cap off right here. So I'm going to get one side then the other side and you can see the cap pops off. Now it it kind of gets trapped under this larger cap here but if you just kind of bend it to the side a little bit it will come right out with no problem. So assuming that this is up on a ladder or on the side of your house um, I wouldn't recommend doing this part up on a ladder so I'm going to put this aside and come on down to your garage or inside your house and change out the disc. So here's the disc that I have for sale and uh, they're exact replicas or the exact replacements for these discs that are in this sensor. So what you need to do is get this cap off. Now all there is is just a small barb fitting right here. So what you can do is just hold the bottom and pop that off and the cap is off. So um, here's your disc, disc stack and these discs are brand new so they look nice and clean. Chances are the ones that you're replacing are going to be gray, weathered, moldy, mildewed, maybe have spider webs on them or things like that. So uh, what you're going to do is take the eight old discs and the brass washer off, put those aside, and start putting the new discs on. So these are the exact same outer and inner diameter as the ones you're replacing. And I also have for sale as an option is you can get these eight discs with the new brass washer on my eBay store. Um, if this washer, there's nothing wrong with it, uh, you can just reuse this one if you want. Or if it's really weathered and mildewed, it's probably better off just to replace it and get a new one since you're putting all new discs in it anyway. So, so I put the discs and the washer back on. You want to put the cap back on, just pop the spindle back into the cap. And then you can go back up on the ladder or wherever your rain sensor is mounted. Take the cap and to reinstall it, there's two little arrows here and here and there's a little uh, hole in the top of the cap. You want to make sure those are pointed towards the vent because there's a little uh, tab in here and the tab rides in and out of that groove. So what you do is you just put it back on and with both hands snap it and you're good to go. You can uh, set your vent settings back to where it was um, or if you want to adjust it if you open it so all the vents are open like that then you will you will basically allow the irrigation system to uh, resume quicker because these discs will dry out faster and when it stops raining your irrigation system will turn on faster if you close them all the way it will keep your irrigation system off for a more extended period of time because the discs will take longer to dry out. So you can set it back to where it was and you're basically all done. So that's it. This is an easy fix. It will have your rain sensor working like new. Um, leave a comment on this video if you have any questions or ask me a question through eBay messages. Thanks for watching.